Hello guys, this is from Mrs. Abby, and here's video number two of the series Spring My Indoor Plants. And I'm going to be showing you how to declutter your indoor house plants and its soil and why it's important to do it. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get to decluttering and uncovering our plants. Here's what you're going to need. Some shears or scissors. Some trash bags or a trash bag. And I'm going to be using a Ziploc bag for my trash bag. You're also going to need some gloves. Any type of gloves. And one of the reasons why you're going to need some gloves because you're going to be decoding your the, the plant and you're going to be going down into the soil, you know, looking up under the plant. And there's a possibility, if you have not done this in a while, there may be some spiders, you know, in the, uh, in the plant. You're also going to need some magnified glasses or glasses. You want to be able to examine the soil. So the first thing you want to do is put your gloves and glasses on for your skin protection and your eye protection. And I'm just going to be using these uh, gloves right here. I do have some more garden gloves, but they're out in my storage right now. And I do not want to go outside and get them. So I'm going to just use these gloves right here. Okay. And then I have my magnified glass plus I have eye protections on too. Okay. After you put your gloves and your eyeglasses on, you want to take your plant, and I'm going to use this plant right here first because this is a plant that I saved and did not declutter just to do this video. So look down in the plant, and you want to take your magnifying glass because what you want to do, you want to remove all the debris from the plant. You want to remove anything that's covering... The top of the saw, including the, in the stones, sand, rocks, moss, anything that's covering the saw, you want to remove it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove um, this right here, but let me get my bag ready. So I'm going to look down in here with the magnified glass, make sure I get everything. So I'm going to wait and check the uh, the soil. So I see all, see all that stuff right there? It's coming out of this, all of that. That's dead leaves and debris. You don't want any of that on your soil. So you want to declutter all that. Just take your time and do it. And you may have to just do a couple of plants a day. It may take you a while to do it, but you got to get ready for spring. And this is one of the things that you need to do. And I'm going to tell you why it's important to declutter your soil in a little while. Now, I keep my plants like this all the time. I check my plants every morning. And there's a video I got that I show you that I do that. And I will place that uh, video in the description box so you can go and watch that video. Okay. So, I think I pretty much got all of it. Out of there, don't want to leave anything. I'm going to remove this out of the way for now. That label that's giving you some instructions on how to care for it. I don't even know why I keep them anyway, but I do. Okay, now I'm going to take this and just put this away until the next plant. Okay, now I'm going to do the examination of the plant, and I'm going to turn it where I can see it. And just be careful that you do not break any of the leaves and the branches off of these plants, okay? So right now, if you take a look down in the soil, the soil is totally clean. Look down in the soil, it is totally clean. Nothing, no stones, no rocks, no sand, no debris, no dead, decayed leaves. Okay, now what I want to do is examine the saw. Let me tell you what I'm looking for when I examine the saw. I'm looking for possibly mold. 
pests and fungus, the level of the moisture, and the roots. Those are the things that I'm looking for. So I'm going to examine it, and I'm looking for anything, any of those things that I just named. I don't see the mold in the soil. I don't see any fungus, nor do I see any pests. And I'm checking for the roots of the plant. Now, let me take this plant out because I do see something here that I want to show you that you need to watch out for. And you remember I told you about you need to be able to check. This is why. You see this right here? There's some are coming up in here. See it? You know what that means? That means that's a possibility that I was not giving this plant enough water or wasn't watering it enough. And what happened was that because the soil on top was getting wet, but there was not enough water going to the drain, going down to the bottom and draining out, these roots right here was looking for the moisture, so they started curling up trying to get some water. And that's what it do. That's what it does when you are not giving it the proper amount of water and that is that's a way that you can tell that you are not watering your plant correctly. I don't know how I missed that, but I missed it. And this is what happened. Now it's not a big deal, but you don't really want this. So what's gonna happen is this is a sign here that this plant needs to be repotted. Okay, so now all of you want to examine that. You want to be able to examine the bottom and look in the drain and see if there are any coming out of there. If you see any coming out of there, that, that's another sign. That's another possibility that the plant needs to be repotted. Also, another way you can do it, and I'm not going to do it here because I do have another video that's coming out. It's going to tell you how to repot these plants and what are the signs of them needing to be repotted? So that's another video. But you want to be able to examine all of this. Also, you want to be able to examine the moisture level. If the plant is uncovered and there's nothing that's covering the top soil, you can take a look and see whether it needs to be watered. You can also use your fingers or you can use a moisture meter and you can, you know, check the, uh, the moisture of the, of the soil. So those are the reasons why you want to declutter and keep your, your, your soil clean at all times. I do not, most of the time, I do not cover my, my soil. A lot of people want to cover it because they say it's decorative. Okay, yes, it can be, but it can also cause you not to be able to know what's going on in the soil. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this, this part of the video and I'm going to show you one other plant and show you what I do for it. This is a smaller plant right here. You also want to do the same thing. You want to go and you want to look down into the soil and let me get my little thing that I'm using for the debris. You want to clean it out. I don't have too many plants like this. I save these plants back just in order to do this video. And if you see any dead leaves on the plant, you want to use these shears right here and cut them off. That's why I told you you need the shears. You want to go on and cut them off now because we are doing some spring cleaning and decluttering of these plants. Looking good down in there, looking clean. And that's it for that. And I'm going to be checking uh, to see if there any mold. Any pests. Any fungus. I'm going to be checking the moisture level. See, does it need to be watered? And I'm going to be checking the roots and see whether in them, any of them are coming up in the top soil. And checking down here to see whether any is coming through the drain holes. This plant looks real good right here. So this plant is how you want your plants to look.
Look at the soil, how clean it is. You want to keep your top soil clean at all times, 24-7. So you can always see what's going on down there. And that is a very important step. So guys, I want you to be able to watch video number one, where I show you how to get rid of them uh, fungus gnats. So I'm going to put that video in the description box, and it's going to also be above uh, this video, so you can go ahead and watch that because you don't want to miss how to get rid of them fungus and that's right now. That's it, guys. Please subscribe, comment, share it, and like this video. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching. Bye.